G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. I've made myself a simple uh, POV light display. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how I actually made this. So I'm just turning it off for now. And so basically here we've got a plastic little uh, oblong piece of uh, plastic. And um, it makes a great frame to to line up a bunch of LED lights so yeah I've got a whole bunch of LED lights and these are cheapo Christmas lights that I've, that I've cut out of there um, out of the um, cut off the wires and stripped off stripped them of what was left on them and yeah just I pretty much just daisy chained them up together and empowering them via uh, 47 ohm resistors to 5 volts DC now yeah so what so basically the, yeah this is all mounted onto a uh, onto a uh, simple uh, PCB which is a which is two sets of uh, circular tracks here I've got an example um, basically yeah I've, I've pretty much just um, Etch these tracks onto um, onto some uh, copper PCB board and and uh, yeah I'm I'm powering the tracks from uh, two uh, copper brushes which are connected to five volts DC. So yeah, the uh, positive is going to those two resistors and the negatives is going to the the to the ground connection. Um, as you can see, that's they're soldered. The wires are soldered to the tracks. Now, the reason for having that uh, 100 microfarad capacitor there, um, yeah, it's 100 microfarad capacitor, is because when I etched uh, when I etched these uh, these circular tracks, so I, I used a sharpie to colour in the areas that that I, I didn't want uh, etched out and. And uh, because it was a little bit of a messy job, um, the uh, the etching was rather rough, as you can see, and um, so the copper tracks are pitted. And uh, without the capacitor, I I was getting um, I was pretty much getting a bit of um, of areas where the lights just switch off, and it makes some interesting patterns. But I kind of wanted the lights fully on, so the capacitor pretty much holds the charge. Um, and discharges when the uh, when the uh, brushes are not contacting the tracks, whether it be on the on the ground side or the uh, plus volt side. So yeah, I'll switch on right now. Um, to the naked eye, the uh, light the lights are consistently on thanks to the capacitor. Now, when I desolder the capacitor, um, I'll just desolder it on that side just get it out of the way I switch it on the uh, lights are momentarily off in certain areas where the the brushes are not um, contacting momentarily probably because the brushes are kind of like bouncing off so as you can see the you got some interesting uh, pattern effects there Though, um, though with this camera's frame rate, it doesn't do justice in ex explaining, but you can actually see the the uh, interesting patterns all the same. Now I'll switch that off, and uh, I'll see if I can quickly reconnect this capacitor and splodge a bit of solder on there, and switch it back on again, and. Yeah, the lights are consistently on without momentarily being off. Anyway, yeah, it's just a quick handy trick that I kind of learnt when I found that the, the that the uh, lights were momentarily off. I thought, oh yeah, just whack a electro cap capacitor in in um, in parallel to the the plus in the ground, and it'll keep the charge consistent. So yeah, there you have it, a very simple POV, um, and uh, yeah, 
powered via um, via brushes, connect, um, touching the circular tracks. The reason why I did that um, is because if I didn't do that, I'd have to have a nine volt battery s sitting in the middle here and and a and an on and off switch connected to it. And I've got an example. I've actually got an example of that. Um, of one of those uh, sitting in here. There we go. This is how I used to do uh, these simple uh, POV displays. Nine volt in the middle. Lights on a on a uh, fan motor. Computer fan that is. And yeah, it works just fine. It's just yeah, I have to <laughs> have a cumbersome battery in the middle, which is kind of annoying and inefficient. And it kind of makes the whole thing shake. But having um, having brushes and and um, and a uh, circular track underneath instead kind of simplifies things and makes things more lightweight. Anyway, yeah, the purpose of making making this uh, light displays is pretty much for my my artistic photography. Um, yeah. I'd, like uh, making sort of like um, light, um, pretty much light art sort of stuff using um, yeah long exposure photography and uh, yeah with my circuit city over there um, these pretty much complement my circuit city which I've got hundreds and hundreds of the of those colourful LED lights. So yeah, I'd love to whack a few of these on the city there and have them spinning. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. It's just one of my sort of creative sites to my electronics. This is Trifle Choices Your Lights Channel, signing out.